or Space Jets winners' jackets on full display for everybody to admire here at the Dartnell's Kennels today. We're really near Heathrow Airport, as I'm sure you were here throughout the course of the afternoon, where they're having a bit of a shindig. And why wouldn't you when you've got a bitch like that in your kennel who's just won the Regency? And, of course, they had the one, two, three to boot. So the champagne is most certainly flowing. We've got owners, obviously Matt and Terry are here, their families. We catch up with a few people throughout the course of the afternoon. It's going to be a bit of a Space Jet loving, I'm not going to lie, but hopefully we'll hear about one or two other dogs here as well. Well, here's the bitch we've all come to see, Space Jet. She is a phenomenon, isn't she? Possibly the best that many people have seen. Matt, I'm guessing one of the best you've put a lead on, that's for sure. Best I've seen, yeah, best I've seen. She's won everything she could do for us, um, you know, to put them three together, the TV trophy, the St Ledger, and now the Regency. That takes some doing, and, um, yeah. Onwards and upwards with her. And the rest, you know, two Durandos in there as well. The first containers of Marathon. I mean, her CV is unbelievable. She's actually looking at, at Mark Seeley, the kennel hand. She's really <laughs> got eyes for him, hasn't she? Yeah, I mean, they adore each other, them two. Um, but, yeah, look, she's, she's, she's credit to the whole team, you know. She hasn't got one trainer, she's got three. You know, there's, there's Mark, me, Dad, and, um, you know, to, be, to, be, to handle such a lovely bitch. And we sort of know her. You know, she's four and a half year old now, and... She still loves loves everything about racing, and um, yeah, no, she's great. Talk us through the decision to put her in the Regency because she did get beaten in the Ballyregan Bob George Curtis Memorial over the 740, which you would think would actually suit her more than the Regency distance. But uh, the owner sort of gave you all the credit for for that decision, and she seems to get clearer runs. Yeah, um, the short run to the bend I thought would help her. Um, when I see a long run to the bend, she sort of backs off and lets them go and then goes, picks them through the field. So I thought a short run to the bend might help her out because she can come out of the boxes. She just hasn't got the early to get get to the bend. Um, and she was turning hands. She turned fifth once. So I was really chuffed with that. Um, and then she wasn't dropping herself off so much. Um, down the back straight, she was flying. So, um, you know, hove's hove. You still need to stay. That's It's not far as tough enough. Um, and the competition suit. So she'll be taken on... I'm not saying tired dogs, but as the competition goes on, she's getting stronger, they're getting more tired, so that suits her. Um, and I wasn't going to leave her on her bed. We got her absolutely bang on for the Durando Marathon. Um, won well. Um, you've got a 20 grand competition on your doorstep. She loves Brighton. Um, a, lot of her, a lot of her trials and, and her prep rubbers at Brighton. Um, it's a good, safe galloping track, what she needs. So, um, so the Regency was sort of a plan that we sort of had after winning Durando and thought right let's go for it and yeah she's come up tops. And that leads me into the future plans because is it going to be a case now of picking and choosing her races she's I think approaching five years old although she doesn't look it you know do we need to just enjoy her while we can or what do you think? Yeah I mean when she's taking on the best and, and, and she's sort of you know giving her a bit of a beating as well you want to you want to see it and, and the public are really behind her um, so it was lovely. I received a message from Martin Seal, the racing manager at Perry Bar, and he said that what an achievement. Congratulations, because she won her first Cat 1 there. Um, so he sort of followed her career, and I sort of texted about thank you, and don't worry, next stop we'll be at Perry Bar with her for the, the, for the St Ledger. So that's the route now, 7-10. She's got the track record there still. Um, you know, two years older, a bit, a bit wiser, and let's have a go. Or her grades or something else. And I just wanted to finish by asking you about her style of running because when you're a connection of this dog, be it owner or trainer, what on earth is it like? You must be used to it now that she drops herself so far back. But when you're watching, do you think she, she can't get there? Or have you always got the confidence in her now? I think you've just got to have the confidence in her now, you know? And I've, I've seen her sort of come from sort of positions think, what are you doing for one lap, you know, at Oxford? The first lap, I think you've got A5 dogs that are giving you a beating, and then she just picks her feet up and then just takes off. So, um, so yeah, I'll just we're used to it now, and we've just got to enjoy it. And she's she's actually picking through the field, and she's waiting um, for gaps to open, and she's 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 a smart cookie. Yeah. She is very, very clever. I think we'll let her go back to the man yeah. that she's got eyes for now. But there we go, Space Jets, uh, absolutely in love with uh, Mark Seeley and an absolute champion. Premier Ground Racing Regency Final, 6.5 metres, and they're on their way, two well away with one, and it's Trap 2 live rather narrowly from Trap 1. They're followed by 5, 4, 6, very wide, 3 somewhere drift early doors, but live Lauren has escaped the attentions of Swiper, though, who is showing good middle pace, just had to check there, Swiper, 2 clear of 1 now, followed by 6 on the outside, then comes 5, 4, Space Jet is playing catch up, but now begins to hit top gear, 
with two bands to go. Six amps covers the entire field. It's live in Lauren out in front here with six on the outside, followed by one. Then comes five. Space Jet finishing like an express train here up towards the line. A great champion. It's the mighty Space Jet. Well, here is your Regency 123, all of course trained by Matt Dartnell. We've got Space Jet here uh, posing away, looking fantastic. Lively Lauren and Swiper, who was the runner up in that final. Uh, let's come to Mark Seeley. First of all, I just watched you walk this bitch out from the kennels. I can see admiration, love, a love bit of all of it. Everything. I love her, the pieces. She's, uh, she's done everything. She's done everything. What more can she do? I really don't know, actually. That's what I'm going to ask uh, Matt a little bit later. But it's almost hard to come up with enough superlatives to describe her. But how would you summarise her? Simply the best. That's it. one, you know. And she's done everything we've asked for. Her. Dropped down, I believe, a week ago to win the Regency. She's done it. What more can I say? We've seen all the jackets on display here in the kennel. I mean, her career as a whole has just been phenomenal. Is she the best you've seen? Best I've ever held and tra you know, trained, but Matt's let me do it. So proud of her, so proud. And so you should be, she's amazing. Let's move on to Lively Lauren, because Matt, I think it's fair to say this is a very, very good bitch in her own right. Oh yeah, she's she's a cracker. She's made uh, three Cat 1 finals, only run in open races, um, one half her races. Um, so yeah, look, runner up in the Brighton Bell, she loves Brighton, finished third in the final, just couldn't get away from them. Um, but yeah, just happy the way she, she worked, ran. What are the plans for her now? Uh, she'll go to Mommel now for the Summer Stairs Classic. Um, I've won the race before with a similar type, actually, um, Ella Juliet. Um, I think it's going to be some. It's going to be a tough competition. There's a lot of sort of the, the four bend dogs stepping up for the 6:30, um, but just that's the natural sort of progression for her. Really, 6:30, the distance will soon. She'll go to the bend. She's hit and missed the boxes, but we'll take her chance. Excellent. We look forward to that. Now the runner-up in the Regency was Swiper, who is here with Charlie, and uh, this Matt tells me is a bit of an upcoming dog. What more can you tell us? Yeah, no, I think he's definitely one for the future. You know, he improved with every every run around Brighton. Sort of made a plan of him to just keep him at Brighton, and yeah, he's done more than more than enough. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, definitely one for the future. Only beaten two lengths by Space Jet. That in itself is something for the CV, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the night he got picked up by Space Jet, the track was bottomless, and I said the the time wasn't brilliant. Do you know what I mean? But I said that's an, forget the time there. That was an underrated run. Only Space Jet would have beat him. And he's the, the two weeks after that, he just got stronger and stronger, and yeah. Yeah. On the night, it was 11 to 1, so he's generally a bit underrated, is he? Yeah, yeah, Well, I said to Matt, I said, I really fancy him, because he had, he had his box, and if Lauren came away, he, he's, he's getting stronger every week, and he's still, I, I still don't think he's reached the ceiling yet. So again, the plans? The main aim is the St. Ledger. St. Ledger next for Swiper, so there you go. One, two, three, Space Jet, Lively Lauren, and Swiper. What a performance from the Dartnell Kennel in the Regency. I'm joined now by the owner of Space Jet, Kern Russian. I mean, everyone's dream who is watching this would be to own a dog like this. But fair play to you. You've just been telling me the story of how you came to own her. You've, you've got an eye for a dog yourself. You found her. Yeah, I was very lucky to find her on a video. Um, she's one out of ten that was successful. The other nine weren't. And successful being a bit of an understatement. <laughs> well, she wasn't picked up by anybody else. And I was lucky enough to pick her up. She is unbelievable. I mean, I, I just said to you, we're running out of superlatives to say about her. How do you summarise owning a dog like this? Words can't be put into place. Um, I just hope that she's a bitch for the sport. Um, we're, we're very lucky to own her, but it's the kennel, the trainer. It's, uh, they've looked after her fantastically since she's come over. And I just hope people enjoy her before she retires. And fair play to Darnells, they placed her well as well, because you maybe had the odd doubt about the Regency, didn't you? I did, yeah. I had doubts about uh, getting to the first bend safely and keeping up with the other dogs. But they, quite rightly, and as usual, said that uh, she will be fine. And that's it. There's nothing else to say. No, they were right, that's for sure. Uh, how many heart-in-your-mouth moments has she given you in her career? Many. <laughs> but she's always come through. I think she's won six competitions. She's only raced 31 times. 
they've looked after her fantastically and the nature of the way she runs is always high in the mouth. But if that's exciting for everybody, that's good enough. What do you think the future holds? We know she's going for the St. Ledger next, but do you think mm. there's going to be more competitions on the CV? I don't know. I'll leave it up to them. Um, I'm pretty sure that they know when, when she's 100% uh, and they will be the first to know when she's not. Um, but she's four and a half. Uh, she's had 31 races, but, but they're marathon races and they're hard races. And stop it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you need the bubbles. More alcohol. Um, and so we've got to look after her. I'm sure she'll tell us when she's had enough. What will be very interesting is where the next TV trophy is being run. That's what we need to know. And longer term, are we thinking mini space jets? I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> it's possible. I would have thought years ago that you don't breed with a marathon runner. Um, and I've always thought that. But as Pat Dalton, who bred her grandmother and her mother, said, the line just speaks to breed. So, but there's no droopy Sydney's left. Can't go anywhere else. Well, listen, we look forward to whatever the future holds. She's amazing. Well-deserved glass of champagne. Uh, enjoy every second that you have with her because she's fantastic. Well done. Thank you. I'll enjoy everything, but I want everybody in Grand Race to enjoy it. I think, we, I think they do. I think they do. Well That's done. That's the main thing. Thank you very much. Well, a man who needs no introduction, Terry Dartnell with me now, loving the shirt in this great British weather, but you've got the bubbles and wow. certainly deservedly so. Uh, you must have been loving life since Space Jet won that Regency and actually her whole career. Yeah, bless her. She, she's a bit special. Best I've ever seen. She's the best I've seen in, I suppose, 60 years of racing. 73 now, and it's the best I've ever seen. She just, she's just as if she's on remote control. Never gets bolt. Goes wide, goes middle, goes rails. Just the best I've ever seen. The brain she has, the racing brain, and that kind of inbuilt sat nav. We used to talk about with, for example, Westmead Hall. Can you compare her to any other dog? I know not him, but how clever she is. Can you compare her to another dog? No, because she's a she's a marathon, a six bed marathon bitch that I can't compare because it's not. She's incomparable. I had, I had a dog here called Ravage again. He won 29 straight sprint wins. That's never been done before. That's a world record. I did have him for all his, all his runs. Bless him, a dear friend of mine who had it before I did, Willie Fru, he died. But 29 straight sprint wins, you can't compare. And this bitch, I can compare because she's just phenomenal. She is, and obviously it shows you've invited everyone here today for a bit of a, a party, if you like. Uh, just important to celebrate these occasions. It's just another Sunday. <laughs> I've never been here on a Sunday like this. The champagne is, is definitely flowing. She's going for the St. Ledger next, Matt tells us. Yeah, you know, so, what, so, what do you yeah, think of her? Right. She's not four and a half yet, but her age, is, is she doing well for listen, her age? Listen, listen. Many good tune played on an old fiddle. She's good. If she, if she wasn't good enough, we wouldn't go there. If she's good enough, we go there. She'd tell you. She'd tell you when she ain't good enough. Simple as that. And the days after her races, I'm told she's bouncing. Every day, yeah. She is this morning. She was throwing turf over the, over the fences. I took her out. I take her out every morning of my life. I take her out. She sees all sorts of livestock and she just... She loves it every day, and I love it. Keeps me, keeps me going, doesn't it? I was going to say, you can tell it's a mutual feeling. Well, of course it is. She's you fantastic. Can't, you, you can't find dogs like that. You know, irreplaceable. Irreplaceable, yeah. one point another one. <laughs> and, and what people don't really know, she had a touch of mastitis, this bitch, and it, it, it was pitiful to see because it's the, the only thing she, she had a bit of a tendon at one stage, but she had this mastitis, and it just it knocked her bandy. And we got her back, and you know, to do what to do to map to do what he's done with her is, is phenomenal. People don't realise, do they? They're not with her every day. They just think she's a machine. They're not machines. They're just like people. They just, you know, they got all their idiosyncrasies, and she's got hers, and she knows every move you make. If I get her out in the morning, it's raining. When I come back, she bring her a hot towel on the seat, and she see it, and she's rubber in on the hot towel. She knows she just. This is an incredible bitch. Never seen nothing like it. I love those stories, and I don't think there's any doubting. It's a terrific training performance by all of you, but thank you for having us here today, and uh, long may she continue in the vein she's in now. We love watching her. Thank you very much. Good help.